my brothers and sisters, as the celebration of Christ's birth draws near, joy is in the air. It's also reflected in today's liturgy. That's why the antiphon will be about gaudete, rejoicing. The prophet speaking to us in our first reading tells us he was sent to bring the tidings to the poor, that he rejoices in the Lord, and in God is the joy of his soul. The response, which is almost always from the book of Psalms, is today taken from St. Luke's Gospel. It is Mary's hymn of joy, which she enthusiastically proclaimed when she visited her cousin Elizabeth after the Annunciation. Mary, the mother of Jesus, had every reason to be anxious and depressed. Here she was suddenly going to be a mother. Her husband to be Joseph, was about to break off the engagement. In just a few months, she would suffer disgrace among her family and friends when it became obvious she was going to have a child without being married. In that society, she would have no way to support herself financially without a husband. Yet we hear, as she visit her cousin, now she rejoices, now in her misery, but in what God was about to do. St. Paul, in the second reading, tells us to rejoice always. His instruction, rejoice, implies that rejoicing is more of a choice in attitude rather than a feeling that spontaneously comes over us. He continues to say, pray without ceasing. Give thanks. Why simple said that despite he went through a lot in his ministry. Because this is the will of God for you. If it is God's will for us that we be joyful, God will certainly help us if we choose to be. Paul is saying we can choose to sit around and feel sorry for ourselves, or we can choose to be joyful even in difficult circumstances. We can let self-pity control our lives. We can choose through faith and with God's help to rejoice. John the Baptist, whom we meet in the Gospel, was an austere person, but his message was a joyful one. Joyful because the Lord was coming. John was honored to have been chosen by God to bring him out and to prepare the people for that coming. Like John the Baptist, we too can make straight the way for the Lord to enter people's lives. May God be with you and open your hearts and mind to be ready for his coming.